And tonight really is about uh, celebrating uh, the amazing young scholars really of our foundation. And our mission is, is very simple. We just really want to give kids an opportunity to attend college. So many kids are really limited by their surroundings. They've lost hope. They've lost desire. And for us, it's really all about putting more kids in college. Last year, our Tiger Woods Learning Center helped support more than 14,000 kids and their families in and around Southern California through innovative educational programs. Last year, we were lucky enough to open the Tiger Woods Learning Center in Washington, D.C. at two campuses. And in six months, we're already receiving tremendous support really from the community, as well as from the students that we're able really to support in that marketplace. We continue to support a lot of programs around the country, and we're going to continue to. We have some very exciting things that we hope to announce later this year. We've had great success with our Earlwood Scholarship Program with over 2,000 scholars nationwide being supported either directly through scholarships or through support through SAT preparation, application support, as well as uh, workshops, helping them throughout college, how they get into graduate school as well. So 2,000 kids supported exclusively through the Earlwood Scholarship Program. And as I reflect, uh, next Tuesday will mark the fifth anniversary of Earl Wood's passing. And I think Earl would have been very proud of the success, really, of the foundation. So. Our keynote speaker this evening is a, a wonderful young lady. Her name is Tamika Mitchell. She's a third year Evan, uh, Earl Wood Scholar. And she's one of the individuals that's a remarkable first generation uh, child that's been able to go to college first in her family. Before I welcome Tamika to the stage, on behalf of our staff, board of directors, and everyone associated, thank you all for being here and supporting us. With that, please welcome Tamika Mitchell. I'm a third year student at the University of Arizona. I'm majoring in physiology and I'm an Earlwood scholar. I was born and raised in the southeast area in Washington, D.C. Growing up in a low income area, I knew it would be difficult to find funding for college and that my only option was completely dependent upon scholarships and grants. I'm pleased to say that my journey for scholarships and grants was successful. I'm so pleased to say that my journey for scholarships and grants was successful. <laughs> because I couldn't even imagine where I would be without the financial support I received. I was a 16 year old high school graduate and a valedictorian of the 2008 senior class. When I entered college, I was only 17 years old, having graduated from high school as a junior. The thought of being on the other side of the country was daunting, definitely an obstacle I had to face. Transitioning from a high excuse me, transitioning from high school to college was an eye-opening change. Finding balance was and is an important part of this journey. The Earlwood Scholarship provides me with the tools for the future in ways I never could imagine. From the time I entered college, the Earlwood Scholarship Program has not only assisted me financially, but has also been an invaluable resource for navigating the college experience. As an Earlwood Scholar, I received a long list of valuable tools, valuable tools, excuse me. From test preparation and study, and study tips to support with classroom struggles. In addition, I participated in workshops and resume building and time management, helping me balance between academics and a social life. 
I have been given the opportunity to network with many professionals in my field of study and have also found an amazing support system from the staff. The staff at the foundation has given me the motivation to persist in this journey and finish strong. I receive consistent attention and care in order to pursue my goals because of the foundation's commitment to my education. There are a few events that have happened through the efforts of the Tiger Woods Foundation that really stick out to me. During the summer of 2009, I had attended and interned at the AT&T National Golf Tournament in Bethesda, Maryland. During the tournament, I worked at the military tent, assembling care packages to our troops overseas. Being a part of this thoughtful and current activity had a huge impact on me and showed me the value of giving back. I realized that supporting people who need assistance is a very important component in the world today. The second memorable event was this past December. I attended a workshop at the Tiger Woods Learning Center. I had the opportunity to attend a Stephen Co excuse me. I had the opportunity to attend a Stephen Covey workshop that enhanced my ability to be proactive rather than being reactive. This workshop also really helped me understand that a strong foundation is key to personal growth. Having a strong foundation and being proactive has begun to help me move forward and develop into a well-rounded person. And lastly, one of the most valued components of being an Earlwood Scholar is having a mentor. I benefit from the guidance I've received in areas such as academic success, professional networking, and life skills. I feel fortunate to have been, excuse me, I have been I feel fortunate to have been connected with a mentor in these capacities. I can honestly say that my mentor has invested her time and love into my success. The Earl Woods Scholarship Program was created to honor the vision and spirit of Earl Woods and continue his legacy of caring and sharing. Being an Earl Woods Scholar has provided me with the motivation and the drive to continue sharing the ideals of Mr. Wood and this amazing scholarship program. The support I received from the Tiger Woods Foundation has assisted me in my journey across the country, adjusting to a new environment, and is helping me achieve my dreams. Now, I see myself having an exciting and limitless future. It's my pleasure and honor to introduce the wonderful man behind the Tiger Woods Learning, excuse me, the Tiger Woods Foundation, Mr. Tiger Woods. First off, uh, amazing job, Tamika. That was uh, pretty incredible. Round of applause for you. Well, I'm glad she's here tonight sharing her experiences with us. Like all the young people we support, uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds for them. It's been a journey since the last Tiger Jam for both me and the Foundation. Today, I continue to feel inspired by everyone including all of you here tonight, who rallied around our foundation and its scholars. This support made us stronger, and because of your dedication, we are celebrating Tamika and thousands of others just like her. Our programs also include scholars, scholars like Abney, uh, Bianca, Stephanie, and Omar. They were the first students in the Earlwood Scholarship Program. I am so proud to announce that they will graduate in May from UCLA, UC Berkeley, UC San Diego, and UC Santa Cruz.
That's cool. Mm -hmm. The Tiger Woods Learning Centers continue to grow both in attendance and course offerings, teaching the students of Anaheim and Washington, D.C. the best in science, technology, engineering, and math. None of these things would be possible without all of your support. So on behalf of all of the staff and the scholars of the Tiger Woods Foundation, we thank you for being here tonight. And we are truly, truly grateful for all you, all you do for us. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our auctioneers for this evening, Jake Purnell and Fred Northup. Thank you for this evening.